15 TGIF stars who tried to revive their careers, but failed. The 1990s was a generation that boasted some of the greatest television sitcoms of all time, and many feel that the quality of television shows has declined since the end of the decade. Networks were in heavy competition with each other, producing shows that resonated with fans and achieved critical acclaim. This fierce competition led to an incredible output of shows that remain cherished over two decades since they aired on television. Among the television slots that fans loved the most, TGIF was one of the pillars of 1990s television, and the list of hit shows that appeared on TGIF is nearly unrivaled by other networks during the decade. If you're old enough to remember tuning into TGIF during the 90s, then you remember the anticipation that each Friday night brought, promising to deliver the best entertainment on television. The shows were family-friendly, and while that term may seem bad, TGIF made sure to pump out high-quality shows that everyone was able to enjoy. Many of the actors that appeared on the TGIF lineup became celebrities during the decade, and many expected to see their faces for years to come. After all, who wants to live in a world where Urkel isn't the planet's biggest star? Sadly, these 15 performers found their success on TGIF, and despite their attempts to break a big on the industry, they are the best known for their performances in the 1990s. Get ready to take a stroll down memory lane because these 15 names are going to make you dust off some old VHS tapes. 1. Sasha Mitchell Unlike most Hollywood tough guys who only pretend to be skilled in various forms of martial arts, actor Sasha Mitchell is a legitimate black belter in Taekwondo, though he would have never known this judging by his character in Step by Step. He was cast as the character Cody on the show, and he appeared in 114 episodes of the series. Kobe was a guy who was a big man with a laid back demeanor, hardly giving the impression that he was capable of disarming you at a moment's notice. After being cast on the series, Sasha Mitchell appeared in several installments of the Kickboxer franchise, playing the character David Sloan. Mitchell has continued acting through the years, but his roles are very few and far between. His last television appearance came in 2005 while his 2017 film appearance marked the first time he was on the big screen in 14 years. 2. Christine Lakin As a member of the other family to be featured on Step by Step, actress Christine Lakin portrayed the character Alicia Lambert for 160 episodes. Her character was the middle, tomboy sister who preferred going by the name Alt. She found herself being quite the opposite of her older sisters and she was more inclined to rough box with the guys than go shopping with the girls. All was a very popular character on the show, and Christine Blaken became a popular name thanks to her role on the series. Unlike most child stars who slowly fizzle after their hit show is cancelled, Christine Blaken has remained insanely busy since step-by-step -step shut down production. Her most recent role came in the comedy series Hollywood Junglings. The show centered around former child stars from her generation. So far, the show has only aired eight episodes, and Lakin has yet to become as popular as she was in the 1990s. 3. Stacey Keenan Unlike other shows that took place in the Bay Area during the 1990s, the series Step by Step chose to be featured in a Wisconsin town. Despite comparison to other shows on the air during the time, Step by Step was able to stand on its own, and it proved to be a success. The story of having two families blend together had been done in the past, but this modernized version resonated with fans. Stacey Keenan starred as the character Dana Foster on the series, and she appeared in 159 episodes of Step by Step from 1991 to 1998. While on Step by Step, she made an appearance on Boy Meets World in 1996. She continued to act sparingly throughout the years, though she has very few projects of note. One hit television show hardly guarantees to sustain success in the entertainment industry, and Keenan is a perfect example of this. Despite appearing onto hit shows, her success was limited to the 1990s. 
support. Jenna Lee Green Much like her former co-star Beth Broderick, Jenna Lee Green has yet to find the same level of success that she had when she appeared on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. She appeared in 75 credited episodes during the show's first three seasons, but in reality, she only made appearances in 46 episodes. Green had only been in the entertainment industry for two short years before landing a role of Libby Chair and this proved to be a massive opportunity for her. She absolutely nailed a role, but the success of the series did very little to help her throughout her career. Green found herself being featured in a number of successful projects, but her appearances were few and far between, and each role that she took on was nothing more than a one-off character. Most recently, she appeared in an episode of the series Quantico as the character Emily Myers. 5. Beth Broderick Running from 1996 to 2003, Sabrina the Teenage Witch was one of the most popular shows of the 1990s, and it even spawned several television films. Even now, Sabrina the Teenage Witch broke the massive cult following, which is a testament to the writing and the acting throughout the series. Beth Broderick starred in a role of Zelda Spellman on the series, and she appeared as that character for 141 episodes. Despite the massive success that the show achieved, this ended up being the biggest project that Beth Broderick took part in during her career. She had already been in the entertainment industry for nine years before landing a role of Zelda Spellman, and she continues acting to this very day. Ever since Sabrina the Teenage Witch ended its run, Broderick has appeared in other projects such as Lost, PR, and Leverage. Her roles in these projects all come as minor characters, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch still remains her biggest project to date. 6. Rachel Blanchard Does anyone out there remember that Clueless ended up becoming a television series? That's right, the smash hit film that spawned some of the most irritating catchphrases of the 1990s ended up becoming the television series debut on the DVIF lineup. It goes without saying that Clueless wasn't a memorable show, but it did last for a surprising amount of time on television. The show ended up lasting 62 episodes throughout three seasons, and Rachel Blanchard was the anchor of the series. She had appeared in plenty of other projects before her time on Clueless. So been a huge success, Blanchard could have become a major star. The show was a moderate success, and even though Blanchard ended up finding work throughout the years, she never became the star that the show had set her up to be. In recent years, Blanchard landed a lead role on the comedy series You Meet Her so there's still time for her to claim the spot at the top of television acting. 7. Mark Curry The 1990s had a weird fascination with living in the Bay Area, and while the show Full House took place in San Francisco, the hit comedy series Hat In With Mr. Cooper took place across the Bay Bridge in Oakland, California. Hat In With Mr. Cooper centered around the ex-basketball player who became a teacher, and it was one of the funniest shows during the time of the 1990s. Hat in with Mr. Cooper ran from 1992 to 1997, and it aired a total of 101 episodes over the course of five seasons. Mark Curry played the lead character in the series, and it was the biggest success he found in his career. He has continued to work over the years. His biggest success came on the Nick at Night series See Dad Run. While he'll be best remembered for the series Happen with Mr. Cooper, anyone who's heard his stand-up comedy will tell you that he's hilarious.